Good morning, Grade 2 Joshua and Grade 2 Moses. How are you? Are you all doing good? I hope you are always having a good time. Are you ready for another fun learning? If that's so, let's start this lesson with an opening prayer. So kids, put your hands together, bow your head, and follow me in our opening prayer. So Father God, come be with us today. Fill our hearts with joy. Fill our minds with learning. Fill our classroom with peace. Fill our lessons with fun. Fill our, fill our friendship with kindness. Fill our school with love. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So again, kids, good morning, grade 2 students. Our subject for today is reading. And we are going to talk about, about sound and safety lesson 22 or unit 22. Before that, let's have our vocabulary words for today, which are our keywords. So today, we have nine keywords. So the first one is siren. Can you please repeat after me? Say siren. Good job. Number two, we have whisper. Number three, we have loudness. Number four, pitch. Again, kids, number four, pitch. And number five, extremely. Can you please repeat it? Extremely. Good job. Number six, the word warn. Number seven, we have the word fire alarm. Number eight, smoke detector. And number nine, ambulance. So kids, again, I will repeat, we have nine keywords for our reading passage for today. So now, let's define them one by one. Are you ready? Very good. So the first keyword that we have is the word siren. So what is the word siren means? So when we say siren, it is a, it is a device of an electrically operated for producing a penetrating warning sound. So it is a device for making a loud warning sounds, okay? Next one, we have the word whisper. Again, can you please repeat it? Say whisper. So when we say whisper, it means we need to speak softly with little or no vibration of the vocal cords, especially to avoid being overheard. So it also means we need to speak very quietly using breath, but not our voice, so that only the person next or near to us can hear what we are saying, okay? As you can see in our picture, they are only whispering. Next one, we have the word loudness. Again, kids, our next keyword is the word loudness. So loudness, loudness means it is, it is the loudness of a sound, it how loud or soft it is. So it means it is the fact of making a lot, a lot of noise or the loudness of something, okay, or someone makes. Next one, we have the word pitch. Again, our next keyword is the word pitch. So when we say pitch, it is a sound how high or low it is. Again, I will repeat when we say pitch, it means how high or low the sound is. Okay, next one, let's have the word extremely. Again, I will repeat the word extremely. So when we say extremely, it is to an extreme extent. Or it means to a very, very great degree. For example, instead of saying 
very, very loud. You could say it is extremely loud, okay? Again, instead of saying very, very loud, we can say extremely loud. We are going to change the word very, very with the word extremely, okay? Understood? Now, let's proceed to our next keyword, which is the word warn. Again, kids, can you please repeat it? Say warn. Good job. So, when we say warn, it is to tell someone that something dangerous, dangerous may happen or already occur. So, it means to inform someone in advance of an impending or possible danger, problem, or other unpleasant situation. Okay? Next one, let's have the word fire alarm. Again, let's have the word fire alarm. So, when we say fire alarm, it is a thing that makes a loud noise to warn people about a fire in a building. So, it is a device that makes a loud noise that gives a warning for a fire. Next one, we have a smoke detector. Again, we have a smoke det detector. So, a smoke det detector is a thing that makes a loud noise to warn people about a fire in a building, just like the fire alarm. So, a fire protection device that automatically detects and gives a warning of the presence of smoke. We can usually see a smoke detector in a mall, right? Next one, let's have the word ambulance. Again, let's have the word ambulance. So, ambulance is a, speci is a special vehicle for taking sick or injured people to the hospital. It is a vehicle especially equipped for taking sick or injured people to and from the hospital, especially in emergencies. So kids, those are our keywords and their definition. Now, let's proceed to our passage. Kindly lend me your ears and together, let's listen to our passage for today. Again, I will repeat the title of our passage for today. It's all about sounds and safety. So, kids, let's listen to our passage. Unit 22, Sounds and Safety. There are different kinds of sounds. Sounds can be loud or soft and high or low. A siren makes a loud sound. A whisper is soft. The loudness of a sound is how loud or soft it is. A whistle makes a sound with a high pitch. The pitch of a sound is how high or low it is. Many people dislike very loud sounds. Some extremely loud sounds can even hurt people's ears. But not all loud sounds are bad. Some sounds warn you about danger. In fact, some loud sounds can save people's lives. Fire alarms can produce very loud sounds. They tell you to move to a safe place. Smoke detectors are similar to fire alarms. When there is smoke, they make loud noises. Ambulances and police cars have loud sirens and flashing lights. They warn other drivers on the road of an emergency. So kids, that is our passage for today. It is all about sounds and safety. So now, let's discuss our topic for today, which is sounds and safety. So, there are different kinds of sound. There is a high sound, loud sound, soft sounds, and many more. And one of those is a siren. And a siren makes a loud sound. When we say loud, it means the fact of making a lot of noise. And the second one, we have whisper. 
Again, the second one is a whisper. So a whisper is a soft sound and it means to speak very quietly using the breath but not the voice so that the only person close to you can hear you. Next one, we also have whistle. Again, whistle. A whistle makes a sound with a high pitch. So when we say pitch, it is the degree of highness of the sound. Very good. So many people dislike loud sound. Some are extremely loud, can even hurt people's ears. But not all loud sounds are bad. Some sounds can warn you about danger. So these are the example of the things that made a loud sound, like a helicopter, the fireworks, thunder, and the next one, which is the fire alarm. But fire alarm warn us about danger. So again, some loud sounds can save people's lives, like the fire alarm. Fire alarm, the smoke, the smoke detector is similar to the fire alarm. When there is smoke, it will make a loud noise. What more? We also have ambulance. So uh, amb an ambulance is a vehicle especially equipped for taking sick or injured people to or from the hospital, especially during the emergencies. So what more? We also have the police cars. So just like the ambulance, police cars also have a loud sirens and flashing lights. They are warning the other drivers on the road of an emergency and the other cars will give their way to the ambulance service or to the police cars. So kids, that is our passage for today. So now, kindly get your reading book and let's answer your activity on page 63. Again, kids, get your reading book and let's answer your book on page 63. Now, are you ready to answer your book? Are you sure? Okay, kids, turn your book on page 63 and let's answer together. So let's answer number one. Are you ready? Are you ready, kids? Okay, let's answer number one. Number one question. What is the passage mainly about? Again, kids, I will repeat. What is the passage mainly about? Is it A, good but loud sound? Is it B, fire alarms and smoke detectors? Or is it C, many kind of sound? Okay, kids, kindly circle your answer or the letter of your answer. And the correct answer is letter C, many kinds of sound. Next, let's proceed to number two. What kind of sound is whisper? Again, I will repeat, kids, what kind of sound is whisper? A, a low sound. B, a high sound, or C, a soft sound? What is your answer? Kindly circle, circle the letter of your answer. Okay, kids. And the correct answer is letter C, a soft sound. Now, let's proceed to number three. What does produce mean? Again, what does produce mean? Is it A, discover? B, make, or C, invent? Okay, the correct answer is letter B, make. Okay, kids? Now, let's proceed to number four, letter A. Let's answer the following question. Kindly write your answer in the line provided. A, question number A, letter A, what kind of sound does a siren make? Again, what kind of sound does a siren make? Okay, kids, kindly write it on the underline provided on your book. A loud sounds. Again, I will repeat. 
siren make a loud sound? Letter B. What can very loud sounds do to people's ear? Again, what can very loud sounds do to people's ear? Okay, again kids, just write your answer on the line provided. And the answer is, they can hurt people's ear. Again, loud sounds can hurt people's ear. Letter C. What can very loud sounds do to people's ear? Again. Okay, I'm sorry kids. Letter C is wrong. Okay, I just type a wrong one. Okay, so just follow the question on your book. And the answer is ambulance and police cars. So this one, the question in here is asking, what are the vehicles provided or produce loud sound? Okay, so kids, I will repeat. Letter C, the question is, what are the vehicles that produce loud sounds? And the answer is ambulance and police cars. Okay, kids. Next one, let's proceed to the last one. So as you can see here, kids, I put some choices at the top inside the box. Okay, kids, they are written inside the box. So the choices that you have is whistle, siren, emergency, and detector. So let's answer the first one in the kind of sound. So kids, it is, it produce a loud sound. So what things that produce a loud sound? Is it a whistle, a siren, emergency, or detector? So the correct answer is Siren. Kindly write it on, on the line provided. Next one. It is, it produces a sound with a high pitch. Again, kids, I will repeat. This thing produces a sound with a high pitch. So what is it? Is it a whistle, emergency, or detector? Good job. It is whistle so whistle produce a high pitch sound so now let's pro let's proceed to the loud sound so loud sound can hurt people's ears and fire alarms tell people to move to safe place a smoke blank make loud noises when there is a smoke what is it is smoke what is smoke emergency or is smoke detector very good. The correct answer is a smoke detector. So a smoke detector make loud noises when there is a smoke. So ambulance and police cars have loud sirens and flashing lights to warn people about an emergency. Very good. So now let's, uh, let's proceed to the last part of your activity, which is the vocabulary Builder. So again, we have choices here at the top. We have warn, whisper, ambulance, and fire alarm. So let's proceed to the first picture. It is a very soft voice to say something very quietly. And only the next person beside you can hear what you are saying. Is it warn, whisper, ambulance, or fire alarm? Very good. The correct answer is whisper. Kindly write it on the line provided. Next one. Next picture. To tell someone that something dangerous may happen. Again, kids, to tell someone that something dangerous may happen. So what is it? Is it warn, ambulance, or fire alarm? Very good. The correct answer is warn. Next picture, let's proceed to the third one. A thing that makes a loud noise to warn people about a fire in a building. So what is it? Ambulance or fire alarm? Good job. The correct answer is fire alarm. And for the last one, we have a special vehicle for taking sick or injured people to the hospital. Again, kids, for our last question, 
a special vehicle for taking sick or injured people to the hospital. So what is the answer? The last answer will be the ambulance. Again, kids, I will repeat. A special vehicle for taking sick or injured people to the hospital is called ambulance. So that is our lesson for today, kids. So for your assignment, kindly answer your reading book on textbook, page 63, and on your workbook, page 24. So I hope, kids, that you learned a lot today. So see you again next time. Goodbye, kids! Thank <laughs> you.